So, getting some sun out here today. Over the last few years, I presented a few of the really common radio and electronics repair and building projects. Uh, we've covered everything from radio projects to amplifier projects and uh, you know, Q multipliers and all types of transistor and tube circuits. Uh, so let's uh, think about the next project. I, uh, I got a list of five very classic projects and uh, maybe we'll let you guys talk about it and see which one uh, I should attempt next. So uh, let's, uh, let's do a list. Uh, BFO, uh, this is something you can add on to your crystal set to get single sideband and CW stations. Something you could put in a homebrew radio as an add-in or uh, outboard perhaps with a uh, shortwave receiver. Um, how about an active filter speaker? These were pretty popular with DSPs a few years ago. Let's try to make one with analog parts, simple analog parts, and see if we can do uh, some uh, band, band pass and maybe low pass type filters in a, uh, a simple speaker. Um, how about the classic home broadcaster or shortwave broadcaster where you're using a microphone or a phono cartridge or perhaps it's a digital recorder to uh, broadcast music around your house or uh, around your yard. Um, guitar amplifiers. We really haven't gotten into electronic music or fuzz boxes or guitar amps. Uh, maybe we could do something like that. A practice guitar amplifier or a fuzz box or something like that. And uh, I think that that's five ideas. You know, uh, BFO, active filter speaker, uh, home broadcaster of some kind, uh, uh, guitar amp, or a fuzz box. How's that sound? Uh, take a couple of weeks and uh, talk it up a little bit, and we'll start on this project very soon.